brother. No, he's actually 10 months older than me. Oh, interesting. That's a pretty small gap for siblings. Yeah. My sister and I are like four and a half years apart. Oh, damn. Mm. <laughs> but I know some people, she's got a younger brother, like 10 years younger than her, and I'm like, man, now that's weird. Not weird, but, you know, not not usual. So, I think you were AFK when I was talking about this, but man, this, uh... What did I switch to? The Trailblazer? Yeah. This thing just goes. This feels so much better than the, uh... <laughs> The Ford I was just in. Yeah, the Ford's still a work in progress, but I, I figured I'd put it in just so you could see, like, the craziness of me building mods. In, like, yeah, the yeah. not the crazy fashion, but, like, just the trail trip fashion, because I literally chopped Banks' King Ranch in half. <laughs> <laughs> Chop it even shorter. You should make a, a midget version, or... A little person oh, a version, let's call a, it. Just rip the we bed don't want to off. Anybody. Just rip the yeah. bed <laughs> off. Have it just a frame there. Oh lord, give it, give Which, it a uh, freaking direction? rear engine. Um, I think there's only. Oh, uh, if you if you want me to be in front, I'll be in front. Or actually. Sure. Yeah, just, just go straight. Cool, cool. He blasts music and just beats loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, I deal with that in a way. My sister herself isn't loud, but she has... In the same way that you have people revving a car outside your window, my sister has chickens that crow and cluck and squawk outside my you window. You know what? I would take the chickens. I yeah, would gladly I take like the rather... chickens over my brother revving his car and playing his music because he plays rap. But the bad thing about his rap <laughs> is he has the bass and everything turned up so loud that you cannot hear a single lyric whatsoever. I never understand why people do that. They drown out the music with only bass. I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. Like, I, I like my bass. Don't get me wrong. I like my bass, but I still have to be able to hear the lyrics and everything else in the song. Same. I've, I've sat in cars that have custom subs installed, and it's like, you can't I... hear anything that's happening in the song except for wub, 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 wub. And the occasional, <laughs> the and the the occasional lyric, you know? <laughs> well, the occasional word, I should yeah. say. And... Of course, you know, half the time you just feel it all in your chest and everywhere, and it's like, in, by the end of it, you get out of the car, your ears are ringing, you got a headache, and it's like, yep, how yep. do you people I do this 24-7? Like, I couldn't... Yeah, I was that guy that would ask the driver politely, like, can we not max out the volume on this? Right. And like, oh yeah, I'll turn it down. And then it's still like loud as hell to a regular oh, that... person like me. Oh, the, the bad the thing driver, about my brother... I ask him to turn it down yeah, all the time. He literally turns it down one notch. <laughs> what? I turned it down? Yeah, that's literally what he says. And then when I'm like, you need to turn it down more, he's like, no, it's not that loud. And I'm like, I can hear it in my room. I can hear it even with my laptop turned all the way up. Yeah, yeah. It's loud. And <laughs> yeah, my buddy got a custom exhaust installed on his Chevy Cruze to just make it a little more aggressive sounding. It's like, all right, whatever, I can respect that. But for me personally, I'd rather have my vehicle be as quiet as possible. Unless it's actually something like with a little bit of power, then sure. But I'm not going to take my Mazda and give it like a louder exhaust. That just seems a little silly. Right. Like a V8, you know, of Mazda course, do <laughs> <laughs> Little yeah. Mazda, yeah, no, you don't want to sound like a go-kart. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I tried to go um, to the right on that said that, though, My friend did get... I, I might have to try to turn your volume up. Uh, spin tires is overriding you just a little bit. Oh, So if uh, I ever talk over you, that's why. Yeah, I usually just run my volume literally all the way down at, like, one notch on the game because most of the modded engine sounds are really loud compared to the stock game sounds. Yeah. 
Um, but having said that about my friend's exhaust on his cruise, uh, he did pick a tasteful exhaust as far as that goes. It's not like a fart can, like, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's just like right. more of a low-pitched purr slash hum, so it doesn't sound bad. Right. And that's when um, it's can be, it's, it's like respectable, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's not waking up neighborhoods with it. Right. While you catch up here, let me take a look at chat. Um, my Nissan D21 won't die, but I gotta admit, my 7.3 Super Duty pulls things like nothing else. Are you talking IRL? Your 7.3 liter Super Duty? That sounds manly AF. That is, that's a man's truck right there. That's a big boy. It is. Alright, let me take my time going through here and try to flex the suspension maybe uh, yeah it's got Ooh, a decent go. amount of flex oh yeah that that actually worked out pretty well i don't think i scraped as much at all going through there <laughs> yeah i like this mod a lot this is this thing's just like as i say a pleasure to drive it's uh it's realistic it's not too easy yet it's extremely capable Right. That's what I've been trying to do lately is, like, focus more on, like, realistic trail rigs than just really crazy vehicles. Because I'll pull one out yeah, when uh, we go to another map. Like, I'll pull one out and you're just going to be like, oh, my God. You're going to have to, like, oh. do a full video of it on your channel. Because I'm not releasing that <laughs> for truck sure. for a while because of how crazy it is. Because I, by the time that truck gets released i want it to be so watered down on youtube that tomcat is like gets no views from it because fuck him <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> he the called beef. <laughs> okay you know that 16 by 16 that you saw right that you because i didn't i wasn't there at that live stream but i watched it later on where you were playing mud runner and like yeah, you would, yeah. uh, you were checking out my like youtube channel and you saw the 16 by 16 at the map polygon Right. And you were like looking for a download link. I released that, uh -huh. and a Tomcat called it a, pardon my language, but a fucking mud bus, a fucking uh, mud a bus, a mud? like a, a school bus. bus. Yes, he called it a fucking mud bus. Like what <laughs> in the actual fuck? <laughs> and how would you describe it? Probably not as a mud bus. It's a I thing, assume. okay? If anything, it's a caterpillar. Like ninety percent of people wanted me to name it, but I felt that name was just kind of cheesy, so I yeah, just called yeah. it the thing. <laughs> uh... And there's like four versions of it, and each named thing one, thing two, thing three, and thing four. Like... We should get like. A Keemstar style drama alert going. We'll get you in a call and we'll get Tomcat in a call. <laughs> and we'll just like, it's I don't not know, maybe you guys can rap battle it out. Oh, God. <laughs> but no, uh, I'd liter that would literally be named. It's not a fucking mud buzz. <laughs> like, you're, uh, you're the one who's sending me a few months back, like some country rap, right? Like southern rap? Yeah, uh, up church. What was that dude's name? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I haven't listened to that since you sent it to me, but I kind of want to hear a couple of those again, because they were not bad. It's definitely not what I'm used to listening to, but having said that, I like all styles of music, pretty much, so... And he I actually... I not like something... Oh, go ahead. Oh, you... well, you can go ahead. I was just gonna... I was just gonna say, for me to not like some kind of music, it's gotta just be, like, all screamo with no singing, like, four minutes of some guy just screaming. <laughs> like, that's where I draw the line. I'm not into that. <laughs> Right. Nup Church, he makes, like, all kinds of music, honestly. Like, he doesn't tie himself down to one genre. Like, he has some country songs. He's got country rap songs. He's got straight rap songs. He's yeah. even done Alice in Chain covers. I like Alice in Chains, man. I, uh... A couple of years ago, I started listening to more of their stuff, and it's, like, some really good, just grungy... They're 90s, aren't they? Something. I think they're actually older than '90s. I can't remember honestly. But regardless, uh, cool music. My sister doesn't like it. She doesn't like his voice. I'm like, what? I love this dude's voice. You can right. like, hear his. The, you can hear the pain he's endured in his singing. Yeah, and like the way he made you listen to what he had to say with yeah. his songs too. Yeah, yeah. He tells a story. Definitely yeah. doesn't condone his mistakes that he's made. It's not exactly uh, upbeat music. Right. 
like a, a lot of rappers making like doing drugs look fabulous and stuff he had more of a message of like don't make the same mistakes I did at least that's kind of how I interpreted it right um, he wasn't somebody that glorified being dumb yeah yeah it's kind of frustrating when uh, artists glorify terrible things and then you think about kids that don't know any better uh I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I know. What I you worry mean. about the youth, man. I worry about the youth. <laughs> yeah, I worry about the youth. People like me that don't watch their mouths, you know. I just cause. Well, same I, here. I probably I can have taught. A potty mouth at times. <laughs> oh, it just got dark. Nope, now it's bright. Yeah, again. I just turned it back to daylight. But then I remembered cool. we're in a forest. So that's why it's kind of dark. <laughs> right, after I get to the top of this hill here, I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to turn your voice up. And uh, um, yeah, if you want to try going around, yeah, there me. is. Uh, there's a voice receive volume that you can do. Um, it's right in the same area you turned your record continuously on at. Uh, uh, uh. In the settings. Oh, back of the main menu. Well, no, you don't have to go back to the main menu. Just go into the pause menu and then settings. Gotcha, gotcha. Settings. Uh, receive voice volume. Yeah. Right, that should be a little bit better. Da 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 da. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am heard. <laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah. Honestly, you're probably taking the best lineup, anyways. Uh, looks like it's scoping it out, but I'm having trouble getting started at yeah, all. I'll, I'll give you a little boost here. Oh, that give you a little side a nudge. <laughs> uh, oh. Last time that side nudge made the difference at the beginning. Yeah. yeah just give me a little love tapping back there. Just, just a, a little, little something, something. Just a little bit. No winch, man. Can't you? Know? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. I feel like I'm spinning my tires too much, but... Uh, what gear what are you I? in? Oh no! Ah! Oh, I forgot to park <laughs> brake! <laughs> Dang it! What a beginner mistake to try to switch gear without putting the brake on. <sighs> what do you mean? I just switch... I switch low gears without letting off the gas, man. <laughs> oh, you didn't get sent coasting backwards for some reason. Oh, I don't know how I got up this last time. Uh, I'm just trying yeah, to nudge me... it up, man. Hmm. I think I need to reposition, or I could let you go in front. Actually, you know what? Just stay there. Just stay there. I got this. I got this. Jankness Are you incoming. A running start. Jankness incoming. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Go, go, yes. go. I'm not yes, letting yes. off the gas. Oh, God. No, I have to let all off right, the gas. Sweet. <laughs> well, now, at least if we need to, I can always winch you, but I know oh, you're... I'm going to just uh, send it back up. You're <laughs> anti-winch unless it really comes down to it, which is understandable. I try to. Unless I'm just, like, out just, like, driving around on a map I've never been on and just, like, trying to see everything, and then it's, like... I don't really feel like sitting here for five minutes. I'm just going to winch up it. Not even going to try to yeah. pour it. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. I almost made it all the way up the rocks without stopping. Yeah, if you want to get in front now. Yeah. Uh, what do we have going on in chat? I'm a little bit behind. We'll do a little People night driving. People trying to ruin my Discord. What the heck? Ooh, nighttime, eh? How's the froggy been? I've been good, dude. I went off-roading with a guy who cranked his stereo. I can't stand that. I gotta hear the engine, creaking CV joints, etc. That's a good point. That's all like a form of feedback and uh, good information. Like if you're trying to make a decision that might mess up your vehicle and you need to be able to hear if you're like catching traction or if your tires are slipping, stuff like that. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that, uh, throttle, or, yeah, throttle. Right. Like, if this was real life, which I wouldn't be driving my own vehicle off-road anyways, I'm not paying for broken parts. <laughs> but, yeah. like, 
I would be driving, no music on, I'd just be cruising through it like, I ain't fucking this vehicle up, I ain't paying for these repairs. <laughs> that's right, that's how I feel too. Because like, if it's my own vehicle, honestly, I just wouldn't care and probably would break something. But if I'm driving somebody else's vehicle, it's like, alright, if I break this, I'm going to have to actually pay for it, not just be like, whatever. Right. You know? Yeah, I would not trust myself to drive somebody else's vehicle in a situation like this. Like, on the road, sure, but... Oh, no, uh, I'd do it off-road. One off -road. time I accidentally... I took my Mazda off-roading one time on accident. Uh, so, you know how I was just telling you my family has a cabin in the Allegheny National Forest? Yeah. So there are a lot of, like, public roads that, even though they're public and they're on the map and everything, uh, you know, to interrupt myself real quick, Jack Best, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But, uh, anyways, there are a lot of roads that are dirt roads with, like, deep divots and ravines and stuff like that. And so the one time we hop in my car and we're like, should we try this road? I'm like, I guess. And sure enough, we're a few miles into it and, like... My car just starts bottoming out, scraping. I'm having people get out of the car just to give me even one more inch of clearance. And uh, I think we made it through, but not before I scraped the the road and rocks like ten times. Damn. I was waiting to see uh, my fuel gauge say that like I was losing fuel at a gallon an hour, probably just as it slowly drips out. <laughs> Luckily, nothing happened, I don't think. It all ended up okay. Right. Made me want to put a lift on it, though. I wonder if anyone's done that with a Mazda. Somebody has to have. Somebody somewhere. Like, one of the hatchbacks lifted up. That might not be too bad. Oh, Lord. Now <laughs> Even you're... though you don't have a lot of horsepower uh, on is, those. And you is that what you want in Mudrunner, Gitchy? Is that uh, the vehicle you want? Honestly, that would be <laughs> funny to take my real-life vehicle... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty yeah. silly. I, I mean, might want, like, all I'd have to do is find a, a model. Mod, but also a silly mod. What'd you say? All I'd have to do is find a model. <coughs> yeah, because uh, I've got the, the 2012 model uh, that's like, it's after the ugly Mazda hatchbacks. I know in the mid 2000s they were making them and they didn't look very good. Right. And they restyled them starting in like 2010 or something. And then they did another huge visual overhaul. If you can picture what they look like nowadays, Mazda's really just been doing a lot of visual updates in the last decade or so. Nowadays they're looking pretty good. They're, as far as like economy entry level cars go, I think they're really solid. They don't look bad. Good reliability. Right. And of course, you know, gas mileage isn't bad. Oh yeah, the gas mileage is sweet. On mine, it's 39 highway, and on the newer ones, I think it's getting into the low 40s. It's not bad at all. Oh god. Hell no. I'm getting to see my friend for the first time in four months. I'm so hyped, dude. That is awesome. Jack, I'm, I'm excited for you, man. The feeling of seeing a, a long-time friend that you haven't been able to see for a long time, that is an exciting feeling. I hope it goes great, and I'm sure it will. Wow, Mudrunner makes me. rock crawling way harder than OO uh, Off-Road Outlaws. Oh, well, that's actually... Yeah, Off-Road Outlaws, it's, it's a little easier, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's because it's arcade, but it's also due to the fact that uh, all the rocks that are on this map are made by Spun and Nyx and they set, they actually go rock crawling in real life so when they made their rocks they made it with a realistic friction so when you're uh, driving see. a mod that's like you know either one of theirs or something like this where it has a pretty much realistic friction for the tires it actually makes it you know feel like you're actually out on a real life trail Rock crawling. I see, I see. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta find some real life friends who have off roading vehicles, because, uh, I don't have one myself. So I gotta find a friend who has one and can start teaching me the ropes, because one day I'd like to have something to crawl around with. 
just go find just like a Jeep Cherokee, just <laughs> with a small lift on it. I was literally you know, gonna say that. Dude. I was gonna What's say that? go. Fi I was literally gonna say go find some guy with like a Jeep Cherokee that needs like a motor or something for like five hundred bucks. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I come from a, a Jeep family, too, so it probably wouldn't be hard for me to get hooked up with something. Right, because it, it's like, yeah, I only spent 500 bucks on it, you know, plus whatever for, like, a good motor, you know, tires and whatnot. Still not going to sink too crazy of an amount of money into it, you know? As long as it's like, yeah, you go break just, it. Eh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my dad just got his new Cherokee, and by new, I mean, like, old and used, but... I think he spent like 1500 bucks on it or something and it needed only one thing done with it and it's super nice I mean so many people overspend on cars and they don't realize how little you can spend and get you know a perfectly fine vehicle right not that everybody can get what they're looking for for 1500 bucks but you know so many people are out there buying cars new off the lot spending 20 grand on something well, half of them ain't even spending the whole twenty at that time. They're really spending like forty at the in, by the end of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. They they don't respect the interest the interest payments. It's like that's why you buy used. You shouldn't make payments <laughs> unless you really need to. But I avoid financing like the devil. Right. Like I mean, I could see it if like you you got some job where you're like traveling all the time, you know, that would make sense to go, you know, get a brand new car at that point. But like, sure, if you don't have a job where you're doing that, you know, like just buy a used car, <laughs> fix it up. Yeah, you'll spend that's way what I less did. money. I, uh, I think in 2015, I bought a 2012 car, so it already had that initial appreciation fall off or depreciation fall off. By the way, thank you for the additional 10 bits, Isaac. But I uh, also saved up until I could show up with cash. And I was real strategic about it. Uh, the car dealerships actually, they want you to finance if possible because they make more money 